Flowers and a white ghost bike, a symbol and tribute to a cyclist tonight. They lay in the same spot where Ethan Boyce was hit and killed by a driver Tuesday. The reigning Masters track world champion was cycling on Arguello Boulevard in the Presidio when he was hit. He's a beacon of light. He, he clearly has lots of friends and family members that love him um, and that he was an active member of the cycling community. Janelle Wong, executive director of San Francisco Bicycle Coalition, did not know Boyce personally, but says many people in the community did. Boyce marks the first cycling death in San Francisco this year. The city has set a goal of zero traffic deaths by 2024, but Wong says with 37 traffic deaths reported last year, more will need to be done to reach that goal. And we really do need the city to recommit and to continue to do its hard work and with us to uh, make our streets safer for the most vulnerable users. Boyce was not only a well-known local cyclist in the Bay Area, he was a 10-time national champion. USA Cycling issued a statement on social media today saying in part, his loss will be felt at local, regional, national, and world events for years. He brought a mixture of competition and friendliness to every race. The boys' family also issued a statement tonight describing Ethan as generous, charismatic, and funny, saying right now it's impossible to imagine life without Ethan, who was our light, our strength, our happiness. They went on to say he was so connected with each of us that his absence now has ripped a hole through the fabric of our family. The driver involved in the crash was transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. U.S. Park Police and the U.S. Attorney's Office are investigating, but have not released a cause for the crash. Because streets in the Presidio are on federal land, Wong says the coalition is demanding immediate action by the federal government to better protect cyclists. We want to continue to do this advocacy work and continue to work hard um, to make our streets safer here in San Francisco. In San Francisco, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.